On this episode of the Tiny Home Adventure, we compete with some locals for some of the biggest waves we've seen all trip. Liam sustains a seriously deep injury on his leg while surfing that requires some medical attention. Some whales put on a show for us just off the coast. A wrong turn leads into a beautiful mistake. You get John's truck stuck frame deep in the sand. You fly off into the sunset and more. After two years of building the expedition vehicle of our dreams from the ground up, the time has finally come to hit the road. Watch as Kicker, Ashley, and I push ourselves to our physical and emotional limits, put our relationship to the test, and overcome unforeseen obstacles. Our goal is to spread positivity while learning from some of the world's most inspiring people. Welcome to Season 3 of the Tiny Home Adventure. We made it to Cerritos, one of Baja's most popular surf breaks. Excitedly, I paddled out into some of the biggest waves we had seen all trip. The level of surfing here was super high. I spent nearly four hours in the water trying to catch a wave, but I was either in the wrong spot or simply outclassed by the locals that were absolutely shredding. This was one of the more frustrating days I've had surfing, but it was also a great learning opportunity. Eventually, I caught a couple good ones and kinda sorta almost got barreled, but I still have so much to learn, which is one of the things I like most about surfing. I noticed that Liam got out of the water without saying anything. That's really odd. All right, Liam, what happened? Um, I caught a fin <laughs> on a steep drop in, and Kevin's about to fix me. Um, it's a really deep cut. Um, I think it might be down to the bone. We'll see. But yeah. The good news is Kevin flew in the other day, and he's a paramedic, so we've got that covered. Yeah, don't give me that much credit. Well, you really are a paramedic. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just a little. Mm. Ooh, that's yummy. There you go. Liam, you did a good number on yeah, yourself. Yeah, I mean the good there. thing about the shin, there's nothing in there that you can hurt. Right. So. Yeah, let's get that puppy ready to go. Let's get back to surfing. We're gonna have you out there this afternoon, Liam. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a little cold, but it's better. Ah! You can cry if you want to. He doesn't really hurt that bad. <laughs> I'm just more mad. Well, than you can anything. cry if you're mad too. Yeah, just frustrating, you know. So we're getting Liam all fixed up, really nice. We've got some Neosporin. We've got some gauze. We've got the best of the best here. It's Gorilla Glue Super Glue Gel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna hold his leg together for the next 50 years, basically. Thanks to my medic. <laughs> Liam had dropped in late to a wave, which caused him to fall onto his board, fin side up. The fin hit his shin and deflected off the bone. The cut's probably about an inch deep and an inch wide, and is going to require quite a bit of time to heal. While surfing earlier that day, we had noticed some whales putting on a show. So we tried to get a couple shots. Whales on the Pacific coast of Baja are quite common but we were still so excited to witness their majestic beauty.
Last night in Cerritos, we hung out with our new friends, John and Amy, who invited us to test out their new wing. I had never actually flown one of these, but was really excited to try it. This kind of wing is typically used in the water with a foil board, and I've never seen it used with a mountain board. The hardest part was trying to stay balanced while creating power with the wing. After a super fun session, we enjoyed a beautiful sunset and prepared to drive down the East Cape in the morning. Go! Go, boy! Let's go! We took a bit of a wrong turn while heading down the East Cape. Not totally uncommon for me, but it ended up being pretty awesome because we found this amazing beach campsite to hang out at for the night. The sunset was incredible and we even got a show from some stingrays. John is a far more experienced pilot than I am. We found this little hillside with some wind. We're gonna go try and fly. Well, John's gonna try and fly, test it. He knows better um, if it's gonna be good or not. So I'm just gonna kind of watch, supervise, help out if I can. <laughs> If the hill were like a little bigger and it was like more of the ocean, I'd be super into it, but it's like, it seems kind of just novel, something to do. But John, John is killing it though. While John was having fun paragliding, I decided to jump in the water to catch dinner for the crew. While I was underwater, John was having a slight problem on the beach. Little did I know, he decided to bury his truck frame deep in the soft sand. Let me see that fish you got there. It's kicker's dinner. Somehow I shot him through the ice. I got back to the beach just in time to watch John free his truck. John and I have been trying to fly this entire trip, but conditions and locations have just not cooperated. Later that evening, we tried for a sunset flight on a much larger sand dune. A spot where we would both be able to fly for a bit.
This spot allowed us both to fly even though the conditions were not ideal and a little too light. Still not a bad way to enjoy sunset and spend our last night enjoying the East Cape of Baja. What's up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. It has been an absolute blast filming these episodes, exploring Baja, and taking you along for the ride. Special thanks to our Patreons for following along, making this dream possible. If it wasn't for you, this, this would not be a thing. Um, also, now we're working with Chop Shop to help edit and get these episodes out on a more consistent weekly basis, so big thanks to them. Make sure to drop a comment, let us know what you think of the episode, if you like the editing, if you like the format, things you'd like to see in the future. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Kicker, say thank you. Kicker says thank you. All right guys, have a great one and we will see you in the next episode of the Tiny Home Adventure. Woohoo! <laughs> what are you doing? You're so smelly. <laughs>